Welcome to Lil John's Yarns. Today we're going to learn how to make this easy crochet slipper. This slipper is created from heel going all the way down to the toe. And the sizes for this pattern, I'm including a small, medium, large, and extra large. So make sure you pay attention to your cor corresponding size. The materials that we will be using, I'm using a 5mm crochet hook, and I'm also using Furl's Wonder Acrylic Yarn. This is the number four worsted weight yarn. And make sure you follow along to the free written pattern. All that information will be down in the description box below. Let's get started. Before we get started on our pattern, please make sure you check your gauge. Nine single crochets equal two inches, and nine rows equal two inches. So make sure you have the according hook size. To begin, everybody's gonna be chaining a total of 13. Once you have your 13 stitches, you're just gonna single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And now you're gonna single crochet in each chain all the way across. So pause your video here, continue with your single crochets. We've made it to the very end of the row and you should have a total of 12 single crochets. Now we're gonna be working underneath the original chain, this right here. So we're going to be placing single crochets down the length of it. We're going to begin by placing your single crochet in that first chain. Sometimes it's very hard to see. And each stitch. So pause your video here. Continue working single crochets all the way to the end. We've made it to the very end of your row and you should have a total of 24 going all the way around. So for your next row, we're going to chain one, turn your work. It's super simple. We're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So pause your view here. Continue placing one single crochet in each stitch. We've made it to the very end of our row and this is what our work looks like. As you can see, it's starting to create a little pocket. This will be the heel coming down to the toe. So for the next several rows, we're just going to repeat the last row of placing one single crochet in each stitch around. So for a size small, you're going to repeat the last row for 19 more rows. For medium, you're going to repeat the last row for 21 more rows. Large, 23 rows. And for extra large, you're going to repeat the last row, 25 more rows. So pause your video here and complete those additional rows. We've completed those additional rows and this is what your work should look like. For your next row, we're going to chain one. Turn your work. You're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. But at the very end of this row, you are going to chain eight. So single crochet in each stitch across, then chain eight. Pause your video here. We've completed that row with your eight additional chain stitches. I hope you didn't chain too tightly. What we're going to do next is slip stitch to join back into that very first single crochet. We are going to be working in the round now. Now you're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around, including your chain stitches. So pause your video here and continue with your additional single crochets. We've made it to the very end of the round and this is what your work should look like. At the end of this round, you should have 32 stitches. This is very important. Make sure you have the correct stitch count. Now we're just going to slip this to join into that very first single crochet chain one we're going to single crochet into the next 26 stitches including that first stitch that we just chained one and across a total of 26 stitches so pause your video here and continue with those additional stitches we've completed those 26 single crochet next we're going to chain five one two three four and five we're going to skip five stitches and single crochet into that last stitch. For your next row, we're just gonna slip stitch to join into that very first single crochet. Chain one. You're gonna single crochet into the next 25 stitches. So pause your video here, continue placing one single crochet into the next 25 stitches. We've completed those 25 single crochet we're going to skip the next single crochet and place nine single crochet into the chain five space. So you can pause your video here, continue placing nine single crochets. 
we've completed those nine uh, single crochet. We're going to skip that last single crochet and slip stitch to join into that very first single crochet. At the end of this row, you should have a total of 34 stitches. Now we're just going to fasten off our work. Next, we're going to attach our yarn to the 11th stitch from the join. Actually, the 11th stitch, I mean the join is stitch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm going to attach my yarn. Once you have your yarn attached, we are going to chain one. Now you're going to single crochet into the next 10 stitches. So you can pause your video here, continue placing single crochets into the next 10 stitches. We've completed those 10 single crochet. Next, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and single crochet into the next three. One, two, and three. Once again, we're going to chain uh, five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip seven stitches again. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, and now we're going to single crochet all the way to the end of our row. So pause your video here and continue putting single crochets into the end of the row. We've made it to the end of the row and we're just going to slip stitch to join into that very first single crochet. And let me show you what your work looks like so far. Here we go. So now we are going to start the very next row. Get my work turned the correct way. Which way am I turned? All right, so for the next row, we are going to chain one. We are going to single crochet into the next nine stitches. So, once again, pause your video here, continue single crocheting into the next nine stitches. We completed those nine stitches. Now we're going to skip the next stitch and place nine single crochets into the chain five space. As usual, you can pause your video here and continue with those nine single crochets. We've completed those nine single crochets. Now you've made it to the three single crochets in the middle. We are going to skip one stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. Next, we're going to skip the next stitch and once again, place nine single crochets into the chain five space. Pause your video here and continue with those nine single crochets. We've completed those last nine single crochets. Now we're going to skip a stitch. Just so you know, some people like to not count this stitch right here, but this is a stitch. We're going to skip this one and single crochet into the last uh, six stitches. I'll work those with you. This is two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're just going to slip to join into that very first single crochet. For your next row, we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet into the next 15 stitches. So you can pause your video here, continue placing 15 single crochets. We've completed those 15 single crochet. Next, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to skip seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And after that, we're just going to single crochet into the end of row. So put your single crochet in after your skip seven and continue placing one single crochet in each stitch into the end of the row. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of this row. We've made it to the end of the row and we're going to slip stitch to join into that first single crochet. Now chain one. We're going to single crochet into the next 14 stitches. So pause your video here, continue placing one single crochet into the next 14 stitches. We've completed those 14 stitches and we're going to skip the next stitch and place nine single crochet into the chain five space. As usual, pause your video here. 
we've completed those nine single crochets. Next, you're gonna skip the next stitch and single crochet in each stitch into the end of the row. So pause your video here, continue placing one single crochet into the end of the row. We made it back around and we're going to slip this to join. At the end of this round, you should have a total of 34 stitches. The next three rounds are going to be exactly the same. You're just going to chain one and place one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Remember, you're going to do this for three, whoops, sorry, three rounds. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of those rounds. We've completed those additional row. So now we're just going to slip this to join into that very first single crochet. Now we're going to chain one. We're going to skip this first stitch here and single crochet into the next nine stitches. So remember, skip this stitch here and single crochet into the next nine stitches. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of those nine. We've completed those nine single crochets and next we're gonna single crochet two stitches together. To do that, we're gonna go into the first stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That is gonna be your pattern repeat all the way around. You're going to single crochet into the next nine stitches, followed by a single crochet together. Then single crochet into the next nine stitches, followed by a single crochet together in the very last two stitches. So pause your video here and complete this row. We've made it to the end of this row and you should have a total of 30 stitches. So next, like usual, we're gonna slip stitch to join into that very first single crochet and chain one. Our next pattern repeat is gonna be single crochet into the next three stitches, followed by single crochet two together. Let's work that. So we're gonna single crochet into the next three stitches. We're not skipping any stitches. This is two, three. Now single crochet two stitches together. And that is gonna be our pattern repeat all the way across. Once again, single crochet into the next three stitches, followed by single crochet two together. Pause your video here and I'll meet you at the end of the row. We've made it back around and you should have a total of 24 stitches. Now we're just gonna slip stitch to join into that very first single crochet and chain one. We're gonna single crochet into the next two stitches one, two, then single crochet two stitches together. That is gonna be our pattern repeat all the way around. Single crochet, one single crochet into the next two stitches, followed by single crochet two together. So you can pause your video here, continue with that pattern repeat all the way around and I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it back around and you should have a total of 18 stitches. Now we're gonna slip stitch to join and we're about to start on our very last row. We're going to chain one and we're gonna single crochet into that very same stitch. Then single crochet two stitches together. That is gonna be our pattern repeat all the way around. Single crochet into the next stitch, followed by single crochet two stitches together. So you can pause your video here, continue with that pattern repeat all the way around, and I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it back around and we're not gonna slip stitch to join quite yet. You should have a total of 12 stitches. I'm gonna have my uh, the toe of the shoe, not gonna be a drawstring pull, but we are gonna flatten it like so and slip stitch across. So right now, choose which size you would like to be the inside and which size is gonna be the correct outside. So once you've chosen, I'm gonna slip my hook into that very first single crochet. And I'm gonna pull that loop through. And this will count as my very first slip stitch. So the next stitch, I'm gonna go into that stitch. And behind it, I'm gonna go into the matching stitch and slip stitch. We're just closing the toe of your shoe off. Front stitch, back stitch, slip stitch to join. Oop, it can't be a little tricky. But you pretty much get what I'm talking about. Continue placing slip stitches all the way across your work 
and then you can fasten off your work and I'll show you what it looks like all complete.